Vamos ver aí. Okay, so I got that out the way. Now, that's an interesting situation. I normally can do at least five reps with the uh, um, my blue kettlebell that I have over here. There we go, which is uh, 12 kilos, right? So I've never done the weighted muscle ups in the past before. So 12 kilos is about 26 pounds. And with that said, it's interesting because now I see the the weighted chin up on the bar with a supinated grip, and that I believe my one RM is around 135 pounds. Pronated is about like 122 or something like that. Neutral, I've done 150. And so that being said, going into the bar or the rings. You go, you drop back down to a measly 12 kilograms or 26 pounds, but it goes to show you how, actually just how much bang for your buck you might get with this exercise if you do it correctly and if you don't abuse it. Because weighted chin ups and weighted dips alone will get you extremely far, especially when you go for reps at about you know half of your body weight. And then when you get really close to body weight, when you start hitting those triple digits and you can do two to three reps on those, man, it takes you far. It takes you really far. We're talking about like one arm chin ups. We're talking about uh, pressing strength for planches, things of that nature. So the rings will humble you and they are truly a, a gift. So imagine the gains that you'll get in return doing them on the rings. On the bar, I can only imagine it's even tougher because you have the weight dangling in front of you so you literally have to rely on all of the transitional strength to pretty much get yourself out of the movement otherwise you'll be having a kettlebell swinging all over and banging on your legs your knees even your johnson and uh you probably wouldn't want that so preferably if you don't want to do this with a weight uh belt i would suggest doing a weight vest so that when you do do your bar muscle ups you can still focus on you know using some leg, uh, I want to say momentum, in a way of having, not so much as momentum, but having your legs in front of you to create the tension that you need with the toe point, quad tension, and not have something in your way. You notice here with the ring muscle up, I put my legs out in front of me to act as a counterbalance. So it's not really momentum, it's just, this is going to counterbalance me here while I scoop and transition into the dip. So, there is some uh, gems to be found here with weighted ring muscle ups and weighted bar muscle ups, but you have to, I really highly recommend watching the videos that I did before on cleaning up the bar muscle up, making sure that you have all those steps clean and making sure that you're very proficient in the movement, having it for reps on reps on reps so that your connective tissue is on point. And just because you can do it for 10 to 15 reps and it was your first time exploring that, keep playing with the reps and the exposure. Because tendons, the cartilage, that stuff takes time to pretty much build itself. At the end of the day, if you were doing your 10 to 15 reps and you did that for the first time ever just because you were really strong before and you just had your first exposure, keep exposing yourself to it. Let the process heal. Watch your bones and your tendons heal over time and get stronger and more durable for the coming exercises in the future. So I hope that helped out. Summer Fitness, peace and blessings. And don't forget to subscribe to the Temple of Health membership site where I am now doing private articles, exclusive content, in-depth stuff, much more way in-depth like this, where I go over things like breath work, Taoism, uh, mobility work for actual longevity, using food as medicine, and all that good stuff in between. So, Summer Fitness saying peace and blessings. I hope you really enjoyed this, and uh, take care.